Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be working on this interesting tech world using Feynman's trick, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is evaluate this integral from zero to one, x to the power of five minus one over ln of x dx. If you're using only basic and tech question skills, then this ln of x on your denominator might get on your nerve. So we'll be using Feynman's technique. Feynman's technique is about introducing a new parameter to the integrand, making it easier to differentiate under the integral sign and work on antiderivative backup. So for example, if you have, say, f of x and t, and also the derivative of f of x and t with respect to the t. If both of these two are continuous with respect to both variables, then the derivative of integral from a to b of f of x t dx with respect to the t. This has to be the same as integral from a to b of derivative of f of x and t with respect to the t. Then we have dx. So that we can create this f of t as integral from 0 to 1 of x to the power of t minus 1 over ln of x and then we have dx. And from this, we already know f of 0 is equal to 0. What we need is f of 5. So that we can talk about eventually this integral from 0 to 5 of f prime of t dt. So that this is the same as f of 5 minus f of 0. Since f of 0 is equal to 0, f of 5 that we're looking for has to be the same as integral from 0 to 5, f prime of t dt. All we need to do is to cancel out this ln of x in your denominator by working on the form that is easier to work with. So going back to this f of t, so let me just rewrite this f of t a little bit. So f of t, let's say this is the same as integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over ln of x. That times x to the power of t minus 1 dx. And then let's work on f prime of t. f prime of t has to be derivative of f of t with respect to the t. And if you work this out, then it has to be the same as integral from 0 to 1 still, and 1 over ln of x. That times ln of x times x to the power of t, and then we have dx. So that we can cancel this ln of x out. So eventually what we have is integral from 0 to 1 of only x to the power of t. And then we have dx. Work this out, it should be just the same as 1 over 1 plus t times x to the power of t plus 1 from 0 to 1. Using fundamental theorem of the calculus, we need to plug it in the 0 and 1, not to the t but to the x. So that's why this whole thing has to be just the same as 1 over 1 plus t. This 1 over 1 plus t, this is the same as f prime of t. But then again, we need to work on integral from 0 to 5, f prime of t dt. So that's why we should be working on integral from 0 to 5 of 1 over 1 plus t. Then we have dt. And the derivative of 1 over 1 plus t, this is ln of 1 plus t. So that is why this is the same as ln of 1 plus t from 0 to 5. So this is the same as then ln of 6 minus ln of 1. Since ln of 1 is equal to 0, this whole thing is the same as ln of 6. So the answer for this question is ln of 6. So pretty interesting integral using Feynman's technique. How amazing. 